All right, so let's talk episode 11, 12 of Code Geass. Guys, I just finished watching the episodes and they were absolutely insane. So let's talk about 11 first. In 11, we had the the Gurin, um, Gurin versus Lancelot. Um, Lancelot had to come in, try to save Cornelia because she was about to martyr herself for the cause, which total respect to her for, for doing that. She was like, listen, I'm not going to risk everybody getting captured or risk myself getting captured. I'm going down fighting. Okay, so much respect to her for that. You are, you guys already know that I had mad respect for Cornelia, even though she's on the side of... She hasn't really... She She's one of those characters that's like you want to cheer for, but you can't because, you know, she's the type of... She'll make every... every at one minute, she's like, man, I don't care about those guys. Take them out with the, with the enemy. You know what I'm saying? And then... And then another minute, she she's like, makes no sense to sacrifice my men for, you know what I'm saying? So it's very confusing to understand her. You know what I'm saying? So it's crazy. It's crazy how they're developing her character. Lancelot has to come in there and save her, you know, um, along um, with, you know, Suzaku being the driver um, of the Lancelot. And he went up against the Gurren. And I, he lost. He lost. Um, if it wasn't for that, that cliff that um, the Gruen, Callan, she fell over, um, I think Lancelot would have lost that battle convincingly. Um, CC showed up, um, and some weird thing happened. I, don't, I still don't know what happened. They didn't explain it or anything. I hopefully later they'll explain her power. Um, her power is totally different. Um, from, from, um, what Lelouch has with the, with the Gias, uh, so I don't know, um, she wasn't in direct contact, like, she didn't touch, um, Suzaku himself, but she touched the Lancelot, right, she touched the Lancelot, and it, um, and he started to have these memories, I don't know if she, she's not implanting those memories, more like, like, she he's like brought back to a time of maybe abuse or something like that. It seemed like his, his father abused him or something like that. That's what he was seeing. And then Lelouch touched her and he started to see her story. So I don't know how this thing works, but at least we have some sort of a small idea of what's happening here. So if, when she's in that mode and she's like, she, um, she, no, he's saying to her, let's get out of here. She's like, I can't move yet. So when she's doing that, it's not like how um, with Lelouch's um, Gia's powers, he could just do it and move on. You know what I'm saying? But for her, but for her, she has to stay there for a while when she uses her powers. So that's pretty interesting to say the least. But I'm hoping that they f figure out what's really going on. Um, no, I mean, explain what's really going on with her, with, with her powers so we can have a better understanding of it. Just like how throughout the episodes they've explained, um, they let Lelouch are uh, investigating, finding out more about his power and how it works. Okay, so, but, I mean, if I was to, to, to gauge these two episodes, I think episode 12 was way better, as in the surprise element. Like, there were so many things in that episode, um... Suzaku don't know what's going on. He he has no idea, but they're considering being mentally unstable. Um, the Lancelot just went, it went crazy. And I think it's because of the radiation, why it went so crazy and off the charts. Because um, at first I was thinking um, it's because of what he was seeing. So he was just, or it could still be that. But then they were like, in, in episode 12, when they were talking, they were saying something else. They were saying maybe it's because of the radiation wave, why it happened. Okay, why the, because the, they had to change the, um, they had to change the, I don't remember. They had to change something in there, or they had to wait until the battery was drained so that, so that it could even go close to it. So, um, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm thinking that maybe it had nothing to do with his, uh, mental unstableness while he was on board so um but man when they went to go meet up with the guy from kyoto 
and then find out that it's a dude that took care of Lelouch when he was a kid, along with his along with his sister. Man, that was his, that was like that was a was an amazing reveal. It was it was surprising. I was like, yo, I did not expect this. CC being in the zero uniform is another surprise. Like I didn't see that coming either. But it was great nonetheless. I mean, dude wanting to know Lelouch's face and Kylan is always like, listen, man, it doesn't matter what he looks like. It doesn't matter what he looks like. Now you have somebody who's like very powerful that is vouching for him and be like, listen, Zero is the real deal. He hates Britannia just as much as you guys do. He may not be Japanese, but he hates Britannia. So don't worry about it. You don't need to see his face. I know who he is. Okay, so it's pretty, that, that's pretty, that, I mean, it looked like this dude has been promising this carnage from, from the minute, from the minute he walked away from his, from his, from his dad, from that room, man, he's like, yo, Britannia needs to fall, man, you guys are a bunch of assholes, you need to go down, so, two episodes, great episodes, man, I don't know what you guys are talking about, man, y'all better leave Kogias alone, bro, yo, this anime is on point bro it's on point the story is so awesome like it's good to take a break from all these fighting animes sometimes and just indulge man just indulge in some real shit you know what i'm saying and the the, the person who's writing this anime is doing a very dude he did a very good job of shaping something you get what i'm saying and the so the parallels to real world real life and stuff like that and just having a great overview of of everything that's going on and even back then because a lot of it is based on a lot of stuff that was happening back in the day back you know back in those times of em um, empires just taking over other countries treating other people like shit and stuff like that it's just it's based a lot upon right so i'm glad that you guys suggested this anime man never heard of it um but you know, glad I took the chance and actually went ahead and, and, and um and started to react to it because it's a great anime, man. And I know you guys are not gonna let me let me down when it comes on to stuff like this. You guys have suggested a whole bunch of stuff um on the Discord. Just remember if you have not joined the Discord server yet, go ahead and click that link in the description right now. Join the Discord server, man. Make your suggestions over there. We have a suggestion channel for that. On the server, you go there, you make your suggestions. The stuff that I'm planning to do in the future. Um, so, I'll let you guys know what happens. Okay, so, thank you guys for listening. As always, man, those two episodes were badass. Everything about it was, 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 was just off the charts. Loved every minute of it. Hope you enjoyed the reaction with me, too. If you have not watched the reaction yet, click the link in the description. Okay, go ahead and, rock, and, and go to the Google Drive. Watch that reaction right now. You guys already know I can't upload this stuff to YouTube um, because they're shutting everything down because um, there's a movie for Code Geass, Code Geass coming out. And, and you know, they're kind of blocking everybody that's putting up videos right now. So, this is what it is. Just go to Google Drive, watch it. Come back here, watch a review, whatever your fancy is. Thank you guys for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe. It's the first time you see me um, doing a review for Code Geass. And also, leave a like. Man, leave a like on the channel, on this video. And also, leave a comment. Tell me what you think of these two episodes, man. Were they awesome for you as they were awesome for me? Thank you guys for watching. As always, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts. And peace.